Hello friends, today in this video I am going to discuss on crack detection by eddy current sensor. So before going to this original sensor which can determine the crack in some particular place, we will just discuss briefly about the principle of the eddy current sensor whatever I have already discussed in my previous video. See, the basic principle of eddy current sensor is here one coil is there and across the two probes of the coil we apply AC current source. Clear? See here we have applied AC current source and as a result the coil will produce electromagnetic field across it. So these blue circles are showing the generated electromagnetic field due to the alternative current applied at the two probes of the coil. See now what will happen if we place a metallic sheet near this coil what will happen the electromagnetic uh, field which is generated due to the AC current will produce AD current in the metallic sheet clear so see here one metallic sheet is placed and in that sheet because of the application of the uh, electromagnetic field one AD current will generate see the pink color currents are shown by AD current now the AD current will produce another kind of electromagnetic field see this is shown by this this yellow uh, electromagnetic fields are showing the electromagnetic field generated by the eddy current okay now the electromagnetic field generated by the eddy current will oppose the electromagnetic field produced by the coil because we know this concept from Lenz law. Now what will happen because of the superimposition of the two opposing fields the overall phi of this system will decrease and we know phi is equal to L into I as phi decreases and L is constant for this particular coil obviously I will decrease because phi proportional to I as L is constant so as phi decreases I will also decrease and decrease in I means increase in Z or increment of the impedance value of this coil okay so because of the AD current as a result we can get increment of the impedance of this coil okay this impedance can be measured by signal conditioning circuit so basically by uh, the measurement of the impedance of the coil or by the measurement of change in impedance of the coil due to the AD current we can measure several parameters like proximity of the metallic sheet with respect to the coil if the proximity is more AD current will be more so as a result the electromagnetic field produced by the AD current will be more as a result phi will decrease more as a result Z will in increase more okay so in this way from the increment value of the Z we can get an idea how much the sheet is closer to the coil okay similarly we can get an idea of the thickness of the sheet if the thickness of the sheet is more the eddy current produced will be more and as eddy current is more so obviously the electromagnetic field produced by the eddy current will be more so as a result there will the overall decrease in the electromagnetic field of this system will be more so as a result phi will decrease more so z will increase more so for thicker sheet z will increase more for thinner sheet, Z will increase in less amount because for thinner sheet, AD, the produced AD current will be less in amount. These things you know from our previous video. Now, how by this AD current sensor, we can detect the crack, that is crack detection by AD current sensor. Crack detection is one of the primary uses of AD current inspection. Cracks causes uh, a disruption in the disruption in the circular flow pattern of the eddy current and this is the main concept i will explain and we can their strength this change in strength at the crack in location can be detected okay so basically what happens see here we have applied here that the coil is there we have applied the ac current source across the two probes of the coil now eddy current will generate in the metallic sheet which is close to the coil see the AD current produced in this case which is crack 
free or with no defect is purely circular. So the magnetic electromagnetic field produced by the circular eddy current, the strength of the electromagnetic field will be much more. But see for this seed here cracks are there that means some defects are there and due to this defect what will happen see the uh, current pattern the eddy current pattern for this is not purely in circular shape it is distorted in shape so because of this distortion in shape what will happen the strength of the electromagnetic field produced by this eddy current will decrease and as strength of the uh, electromagnetic field produced by the eddy current decreases so the overall electromagnetic field of the system will increase so as a result the current will increase as a result the impedance will not increase uh, that much uh, compared to this case for this case impedance will increase much amount because it is crack free so the overall uh, electromagnetic field for this case will decrease much because the opposing electromagnetic force has very strong value or the opposing electromagnetic force is very strong but for this case as the opposing electromagnetic force is weaker than compared to this case so impedance value will not change in that fashion okay it will increase by a little amount for this case but for this case which is crack free the impedance value will increase in much higher amount okay so by the increment of the impedance value of the coil we can get an idea that whether crack is there or not if crack is there then increment of the impedance value of the coil will be not much higher but if crack not is if crack is not there that means if the metallic sheet is crack free or with no defect then the impedance of this coil will increase in much amount okay so in this way by proper calibration from the data of the increment of the impedance value of the coil we can get an idea that whether the sheet whether the metallic sheet is uh, defective or without any crack okay so this eddy current sensor can be applied for crack detection it is very important advantage of the eddy current sensor it is very important application this type of questions may appear in your examination related to sensors and instruments instrumentation paper okay this is all for my this video if you find this video helpful for your preparation please like share and comment if you have any doubts i will surely clear you you ask in the comment section this is all for my this video subscribe my channel for more upcoming videos and press the bell icon Thank you for watching.